Welcome back to another episode of Monkey Shorts. In the last couple of episodes, we've looked at creating linked or disconnected fact or measure tables in Excel Power Pivot. And I want to show you one of the features that I wish was in Excel. Inside Power BI, we can actually group our measures into individual folders. So let's take a look here. I've got a little a model that I keep my, uh, my travel history in. You can see that COVID's had a pretty drastic effect on that. That's 2020 where it just suddenly drops off. And you can see here that I'm actually using a linked fact table structure based on the fact that I've got some dimension tables. I've got a couple of different fact tables here with a calculator icon. And if we hop over to the model view real quick, you can see the relationship. So there's stays and flights, which are showing up as linked fact tables here. So that's all good. Now the challenge is that when I open this up, I have a ton of measures in here and I'd really like to group them up into subfolders, which I can't do in Excel. Right here, what I really want to do is grab four of these, right click and say, move it into a folder. But you can't do that either, unfortunately. And I don't find this the most discoverable thing. So here, check this out. If we go to the model view, I can come over and grab my cities measure, hold down shift and grab cities year to date. And then down here, what I really want to do is right click and say, add to folder, but you can't do that. It's down here, display folder. We got to go type in a new name, cities and hit enter. This is just an odd placement for this in my opinion. I really want it on that right click menu. So now I'm gonna do countries. I'll grab all four of those holding down the shift key. So we'll go with countries. And of course, control also works if you need a non-contiguous selection. I'm gonna grab all my night measures, including pace versus prior year here. So this will go into nights. And then down here, I've got one more group of measures called stays, which are different than nights. And those are gonna go into the stays folder. And as you can see, I also have a raw data columns, which is all of my unaggregated columns that I've already hidden, but I grouped those up nicely as well. One nice thing you have in here is drag and drop to move a measure between folders. Unfortunately, you don't have that when you get back out here, but reality is, even if I have to hop back and forth, what you can see is that I've now got all of my measures nicely subcategorized within the table grouping that I use in order to try and get the same kind of behavior inside Excel. So hopefully you'll find that interesting and useful. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.